All right, folks. Donnie wants to go look at a house. So why are we going to look at a house, Donnie? Well, we're going to see if we uh, we want it or not. Uh, we're going to show y'all what all goes into these uh, these things. We hear about something, and we got to go and physically look at it. Then Ronnie's got to do a bunch of research online about it, and then we got to find out if it's even worth doing. So you, are you talking about a house for you to live in? No, 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 no. That that two acres over there where we got that other mobile home on it, which had a video series of fixing it up. Yes. We need to put another one beside it because we have... Uh, there's extra land. There's extra land there, and there's already water there. So, you know, we're going to have to put a septic tank in. That's going to cost us probably two grand. Yes. And uh, then we got to get a mobile home, and we got to get it moved over there. Yes. And we're only about maybe, what, five or six miles? Yep. From over there? Yep. That move, just picking it up and moving it over there, and now this is a single way, is going to cost us $3,500 just to move it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's no underpinning. That's no nothing. That's just moving it. I mean, they yeah. will jack it up. Put and set it up, put up. center blocks under it. Like but, they did in the video that we, that yeah. we filmed. But that's no, that's not hooking up sewer. That's not hooking up water. That's not hooking up power. That's nothing. Uh -huh. So, we got to be careful on what we spend on these houses. But So, Donnie has meant, so Donnie, somebody has mentioned to Donnie that there's a uh, mobile home for sale. And uh, it's down the road. And the person wants to sell it, but you have to move it off of the property. So, if if you haven't messed with these, you might think, oh, okay, well, yeah, I can I can just call somebody with a truck. They go pick it up. That's the whole thing with a mobile home. You pick it up, and move it. But <laughs> it's not as simple as that. First of all, it costs a fortune to move it, and it don't matter if it's one mile or fifty miles. It's the same price for yeah, some reason. Because well, the the hauling it is not really the trouble. The trouble is the having to haul it at all you have to go pick it up and then you have to go set it down <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's the trouble yeah. the actual rolling down the road it don't really matter if it's a mile or 50 miles they kind of quote you the same price that last one i bought it come about 50 miles maybe a little more maybe 60 miles and uh before that it come from the beach and i asked the guy i said how much is it to go to the beach and back oh the same price yeah. So I couldn't comprehend that they'd run one 200 miles or they'd run one 50 miles for the same price. Yeah, the way they see it, they got to hire the guys to to work and uh, it's, they maybe pay them for an extra hour or whatever, but they're still, they, they consider it, their guys are going to be working all day, jacking the thing up and then putting it putting it down. So well, They might pay them by the, by the job, you know, so yeah. it might not cost them no more. So. so somebody told Donnie there's a house for sale. Uh, we're gonna go look at it and just see the deal but already we're we're in a position where we're probably not interested in it just because of the price of moving it and then the septic tank and all of that but if it's a good deal with that property we're gonna have to pay to move something on their period and we're gonna have to pay to have the septic put in no matter what we get so whatever we move onto that property eventually uh, we're gonna have to get for a, a steal of a deal or it wouldn't be worth all of the, the money or the trouble to move it. So we're gonna to have to get something really inexpensive uh, just to make up for the fact that we have to pay to have it moved and we have to pay to put a septic in, hook up the, the well, all that. I think I might talk Donnie into hooking up the well though. The, a brand new one today, if I go down to the lot and buy a brand new uh, two bedroom double, uh, single wide. Bare bones, homes. just the, the cheapo. The cheapo. Twenty-eight thousand dollars. That's not counting moving it. That's nothing. That's just the house. That's mm -hmm. not the taxes. Nothing on it. Just the house. So you're gonna have thirty in it. To at least thirty. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you probably have thirty-five after you get it set up and all, um, and the underpinning under it, and uh, hopefully you already got well and septic and land. Because if you don't have that, it's gonna cost you more than the house. Mm -hmm. So, so we're going to go do a drive by on his house and uh, see, see if, what it looks like and uh, see if it's anything we'd be interested in moving over there and just show you like what, what a typical thing that somebody wants to throw out there for sale is. Now, this person has, uh, like he just said, they probably paid, you think this is one that was about 28 when it was new? They said they paid 28 for it. Yeah, so it was about 28 when it was new. And so now they're trying to sell it and what do they want for it? 17. 
they want 17,000 for it. So it's used 17,000. So you'd be saving $11,000 from buying a brand new one. So you kind of want to decide, do you even want, are you looking to buy a new one or are you looking to buy just the cheapest thing you can find and then work on it? And the last one, we bought the cheapest thing we could find and work on. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> we're trying out all different options here. So we'll drive by and see what this one looks like. We're driving down the road. Let me show you what people are doing around here. Ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody uh, saving any money. Look at this crap. I'm gonna walk out here trying not to get ran over. I mean, what the hell are they thinking? Damn cobalt, it's missed it's misprinted though. I'll take it. It's free. You know what they say, if it's free, it's for me. All around. You think so? That's cobalt. That's Lowe's. Uh-huh. Now is that the same size we were just using on my uh No. Oh, okay. It's three quarter. I mean that's that's a main one. It's a good one. If it's free, it's, it's for, for me. me. Alright, folks. So this is what we're looking at here. Nice little trailer. Now, do they drag the deck with it whenever they move one? I don't know. I guess maybe they'll pick it up for you. But uh, it's, you can see it's just super plain, super bottom of the of the of the uh, rung kind of mobile home. But that's kind of what you want. You don't really want a fancy one because people might tear the hell out of it. Um, but that's what seventeen thousand dollars looks like, and then you have to pay. Saving 11 grand off of a off of a new one, and you, you really can't tell. I'll tell you, the only thing I can really tell is the the shutters are all pretty faded, which would lead me to believe that that thing's probably at least 10, 15 years old. It's 07. 07. Yep, 13 years old. Hmm. All right. Well, what do you think? Uh, is that worth 17 thousand dollars? I don't think so. Now, if the land came with it, I'd be all over. and the land was if it was 40 including the land it'd be a hell of a deal right so the 23 for the land would be a great deal plus 17 for the trailer 40 total that'd be fantastic but around here you can buy a piece of land this size for five grand right <laughs> but just just the, the trouble of moving the trailer and setting it all up getting the well dug getting the or, or a tap put on if you're in, in city where you can get uh, a city hookup, getting the uh, leach field put in and the, the, the septic and all of that. You know, it'd be, it's a situation where you'd rather just buy the whole land than buy the, uh, the trailer and move it. All right, pull up, guys. Let's see what the side looks like. We don't want to go in their property because we think somebody lives there. They're not home though, so we don't mind filming it. <laughs> Yeah, just a plain little, and it's a that's one of the small ones, you know. I mean, it's not. I don't. It doesn't even look like it's as wide as the one we got. No, they only make them up to 16. That one's not a 16. That's gonna be. A, well, I don't even want to guess. That's a small one. It's either a 12 or a 14. That's smaller than the, the one we got. We got 14. So we put in. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's what that's what we're looking at. So we'll, we'll have to think about that and decide if we're interested. In all right folks so here's an example of another one around here um this one has been abandoned for a long time so there's weeds growing up all over the place if you look inside somebody's ripped the air conditioning out of it but it's a really it's a it's a nicer looking home it's a double wide it's got a little lot and the the uh home and the lot uh, had had been sold through a uh tax i think they went through a tax sale didn't they Went through a tax sale. Went through a tax sale and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, we drive by this all the time because we, we have another home down the road. And so the one we were just showing you is one that's being offered to people for sale. So it, people are actively trying to sell it. If you wanted to buy that home, you could come up with the money and make it happen. This is an example of one that's not being offered for sale. It's just sitting here, right? And so nobody's doing anything with the property. Weeds are growing up. It's been vandalized inside, not horribly, because this isn't. This is out in the country, so this isn't like really bad neighborhoods. 
so nobody's in there uh, destroying things, but it's there's been minor things, you know. They cut the fuse panel out of it. Yeah, they, they, like they ripped the fuse panel out of it, stuff like that, which I guess isn't minor. <laughs> but what I'm saying is they haven't burned it down. They're not tearing the, the walls apart. They're just... All the windows ain't busted Yeah, out. they're not busting the windows out and just doing stuff out of malice. They're just... Somebody went in there and took the freaking fuse panel for the wiring, I guess. Um, but it's not it's not so bad that you can't that it won't come back. It's got a nice tin roof on it, you know, and it actually looks pretty good. It sits on the lot. It's got a nice lot. So this is an example of one where you drive by it and you say, "Now that's the one we ought to buy, man. We could buy that and fix it and then rent it to somebody." It's already got a well. Somebody else already did that. It has a brick underpinning, so it's nice and. Uh, nice solid foundation on it to make it more like a house than just a mobile home um, it has a uh, septic system obviously it's a double wide it was one that was a little fancier back in the day so it's a little nicer inside and uh, it's got a nice yard it's in a nice location um, you could buy this and and rent it and do pretty well so you saw the other ones being offered for 17,000 but then you had to pay to move it so you, we see this one and uh, we start looking around trying to figure out how we can get in touch with these people. So I start looking online, I figure out who the owner is, and then we have to track down how to find out how to get in touch with the owner and finally track the person down. And it's been through sales and uh, went through a will, I think, once, and I went through a tax sale and all kinds of stuff. So the, the, the ownership has changed a lot, right? So we finally get in touch with the person, or Donnie does. Now what happened, Donnie? She comes off and tells me she wants fifty grand for this place. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I she says we can't be talking about the same place. And I said, Are we talking about the gray house with the red roof? She said, Yep. I said, I guess we're talking about the same place. <laughs> and uh, she got like mad. There was a sign up in this yard that the person wanted 20 grand for it. yeah so i call the guy he tells me 20 grand i'm like hell yeah we might be able to do something with this so i talk to him for a few minutes i call ronnie and say ronnie this so-and-so tells me 20 grand on that trailer that we've been wanting we've been looking at he says hell uh we might do that what was his name so i give him his name he said hell he don't own that one he owns this one he owns that one. I said, damn, he does. So I call him back and I said, uh, are you sure you got the right property? It looks like you own the one next door that somebody's living in. He said, no, I don't own that one. I own this one. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so we go round and round and round and round. And he finally <laughs> figures out that he owns the other one over there. And, and there's people in it. <laughs> there's people in it. So hell I decided I'm going to buy that one <coughs> but yeah. the meanwhile the damn thing catches on fire can you tell it's got a different color roof there in the middle running yeah that green can you mm -hmm. see it on the finder uh, yeah the damn fire was coming out of the top of the house right there and uh, I decided I didn't want it obviously at that after it burned mm -hmm. but that house has been burnt there ain't nobody in it and uh, they wanted 20 for that one and she wants 50 for this one with the, the electrical box ripped out, the, the insides, I mean, it's not gutted. There's still rooms and everything, but it's, you know, it needs, it needs full work. You know, I mean, you can't move right in. Um, needs a whole new air conditioning unit. It's been removed. <sighs> I offered her some money on this. I forget what I offered her, but uh, I offered her some money on this one. And uh, I figured that the neighbor would come up eventually, but um, I ain't heard nothing from them yet. I don't know if they had insurance on it or what, but it looks like they've got a dog still out back, so there must be some activity going on over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they might have fixed that house. It's been probably, I don't know, what, three or four months, five months. That long. same guy might still be getting rent off of it. The whole, the whole thing was, the guy thought he owned this one, so he looked at it, it's messed up. He said, I'll take $20,000 for it. He didn't realize he owned the one next door that had people in it that he could get rent money off of. So once he rent, once he realized that, he didn't want to sell it because he thought he could get rent money out of it. And that one 
is habitable. There's people in it, you know? So then he didn't want to sell it for 20 because he thought it was worth more. But then the thing caught on fire a couple months later. Thank God nobody was hurt. We're not trying to laugh about people's misfortune. Just saying it's it's strange that things happen like that. All right, Dottie, so what do you think? What are, what are we going to do? The, the 17,000 one, I don't I'm, I'm not too excited about it. I don't think we can buy that one. I mean, if we're going to do that, we might as well go buy a brand new one yeah. at this point. I mean, we don't have to have a trailer right now. I mean, I'd rather wait until we get a cheapo. Yeah. Get a, get a cheapo that we can fix up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, they're, uh, we're actively looking, but we can't seem to find nothing right now. I'd like to get a one, though, that's already set up on a lot like this, so. Yeah, but we'll have to do something with that lot that we already got. That's true. So we'll keep looking, folks. We'll we'll keep you posted. If you find one, let us know. Yeah, in the immediate area. Yeah, in the immediate area where we can look at it. But there's there's hours and sometimes days go into buying these properties. People think you just go out there and you find one. Yeah, you might find one like that, but you're trying to buy three or four or five or six in the same area. You don't yeah. find them like that. And it kind of comes down to what works for you. Like, what are you? who are you trying to rent it to? What, what are you trying to move one onto a piece of property that you already own? Oh, okay. Now, that was right next door. Look right there, Ronnie. There's, uh, there's like three or four or five there in a row. One, two, three, four. It looks like four or five. There's five there. Okay? Yep. They're all single wides. They're all older stuff. And this one right here. Well, it's like heaven, kind of. That one right there in the front. That would be a sixth one. Yes. That double wide with the metal roof there. They just sold. And uh, all those sold to one person. And it looks like it was uh, about $40,000 for all of them. Missed out there. So that was, uh, that's the kind of deal we're looking for. <laughs> Yeah, and we lost that one. So it kind of makes it where you don't want to spend big money on one whenever you keep seeing them sell for a hell of a deal. And we've we've bought a couple that were a hell of a deal like that. So that's what we're that's what we're looking for. So seventeen instead of twenty eight. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. But uh, we're looking for a smoking deal. And we ain't even went inside of it. Yeah, it might be destroyed inside. We're looking for one hell of a deal. So that, that red one back there, we were looking, we were thinking 15 or 20 with the property, which is not out of the question. I mean, that's, there is stuff like that around. So uh, we'll keep looking, we'll keep driving these roads. Tell them what to do, Donnie. Hey, like the channel, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, put your comments down below. And let us know if you got a cheap situation here. We'd like to have a trailer park, a cheap one. Yeah, a trailer park. Hey, hey, we're, you know what? We're going to do one one more little thing on this video. Go buy that trailer park where, that they sold. Okay. We're going to go show you a trailer park that looks like it was heaven. Okay, folks. So we're on this other little highway here. And uh, we're way out in the country. This gentleman uh, had some land that he was going to sell. It's this huge lot here. And it goes way back over there. It was like, what, 80 acres or something? 80 acres. It's like 80 acres of land. So it's... We're, at, we're way out in the country, so it's not worth a fortune, but it's very valuable because it's 80 freaking acres. So you're talking $150,000, $200,000 at least, you know, something like that. But the, the enticing thing to me was is that the guy way back in the day was trying to build a mobile home park, which are cash cows if you do it right, right? So <laughs> he, was, he, had a, he had a hell of an operation going on here, but it looks like he never finished it, right? So it would have been so cool if we could have bought just like the front five acres or something like that. It did them power lines up there. Yeah, see the power lines? So look, let's look at what this guy did. Now this guy was just doing this himself. So there's power going in. See how they've got the power just coiled up there too? Doesn't that mean that that's what's going on there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, they, they had plans to do other things. I don't know what that would be, but... We're gonna pull down in there and show you how the guy was trying to set it up. There's nobody living here anymore. This is an abandoned trailer park. And it's out in the country, but it's not far enough out that you... the street sign there. It had a street sign on it at one time. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the street sign pole was laying on the ground there. 
And so this this is actually a street name. This this street is named, even though it's just a dirt road, um, way out in the country. So it looked like the guy was trying to set them up, kind of angled to the road. I like how he even angled them and everything. This guy had big dreams at some point. Um, but he had room in here for tons of them. Where are the uh, power boxes? Right there. They're just farther in. Yes, I'm gonna show that. So, see that power box there? Right there. Yeah. You get it out that window. Yeah, there we go. You think I would have thought to roll down the window earlier? Let me see if I can get it to focus. Oh, I don't like that sun in it. There you go. So there's a power box out there. So there he had he had you know designated this was gonna be a spot for a trailer, right? And he was he was making like an entire shady acres out here. <laughs> another, another power box over here. Right there's the water. There's another one. And there's the water. Okay, so here's an old trailer that he had he had pulled in and uh front doors kicked in it's all you know abandoned and everything and then just past it you see there's another power thing so he's got a room for one here as well you see there's one in the distance there and then here we've got one that still has a meter in it so there must have been a trailer there at some point so that's i guess we've got the four so far I don't know how long these have been abandoned. Obviously, this one's been torn open and it's falling the hell apart. So that's five. Another meter box is knocked down there. It's still got the meter in it. Uh huh. Yep. Meter box just laying there. That's six. And then another trailer over there. That's seven. Wasn't there? A, there was something up here like a distribution center or something. Right to your right there, behind that house. Yeah, what the hell is that? That's the well for all of them. So that's the well that he had installed that was running water to everything, I suppose. See, there's another meter box over there by itself. Yeah, running the well. They had, he had 10 septics in here for these things. So he had 10 septic systems put in and all of those uh, wells. Now the way it worked was this road turns back around that way and drives back out on another road. So it's kind of like a pie shaped piece here. Um, and it has its own name and he was going to put them it looked like all the way along that road as well um look can you zoom in on that them power lines look at all them power lines going down in the ground there mm -hmm. and, i mean this guy had it going on man. i don't know why it stopped i don't know why he stopped you talked to him what did he say well i did not talk to the guy that actually started this he died oh okay um i talked to his son and his son said that um he had 10, 10 spots out here, mm -hmm. but he lived out of town somewhere, and that's what hung him up. He got cancer or something, and he, uh, he it slowed him down, and he just he lost it. I mean, he didn't lose it, but yeah, he still owned it. But he, he just he it. lost the ability to to run it properly. So you end up where you're getting the wrong people in there, or people aren't paying their bills, and there's nobody around to kick them out like Donnie would. Yep. So, uh, but. Uh, but I had the opportunity to buy this place. Yeah, but it was up for sale, but it was like 80 acres. So there's land like way down there and it's it's a, it's pretty decent land in a good spot. So it's just too rich for our blood. But if it was just this front little spot, which ironically to the people that are probably buying it is probably the least valuable spot. I guess it's probably the part they don't want. This is the part we would want. Can you drive out that way or is it all blocked off now? I think I can go that way. I can go by yeah, that way. way. That way down there just goes farther into the property where uh, they had all kinds of land to uh, to expand. Yeah, so this was the rest of the road. See, there's another power box behind these. Damn, he had ACs underneath him. Air conditioner sitting on the ground. Yep. Under. There's the septic coming out. So, one of these days, Donnie might build a place like this. I will have me one. <laughs> but it'd be it's like the va the value here though is is that the power is already done and the septic is already done and the well is already done so if you had it like this you could buy 
you could buy trailers and pull them in here and whenever one gets old and it's no good anymore just take the damn thing out so but like we just told you it's thirty five hundred dollars a piece thirty five hundred dollars to move it just to move it well i guess this goes back out we might be lost folks but we'll see you on the next video leave your comments below let us know what you think